So, are you all set? Ready to start investigating? Great! Let's go! I've delivered packages all over, but I've never seen a mysterious fairy tale world like this before. <laughs> Looks like nobody has gotten around to repairing this house yet. Ugh, even I wouldn't dare to sleep in there. It might suddenly collapse in on you. You want to check out the area over there? Okay, I'll wait here for you. Nothing to see here either. Maybe we can find someone to ask? Aha! Uh -huh. Over there! I bet we'll find some people there. Let's go take a look! Uh-huh. I was sure there'd be people here. There once was a goddess who ruled over fate. Before she died, she left three riddles for the kingdom she had created. What? Who said that? Long story short, on this day a sentient feline, an outlander, and a uh, diminutive pixie arrived on the scene. They saw a narrow path off to the side. Okay, but which side? Yeah, if you gave ambiguous instructions like that to a Comania Express courier, they'd give you the parcel right back and tell you to write the delivery address more clearly. Despite how obvious the answer was, the perplexed pixie and the flummoxed feline struggled to work it out. Hmm. Although, perhaps a small part of the blame could be attributed to my dull narration. Alright, let's uh, try this again. <clears throat> The path on the left-hand side seemed to give off an enticing fragrance, as if to say, uh, this is the way to wealth and glory. Ooh, that sounds like the start of a good story. Then what? Then what? <laughs> At the end of the path, the motley crew would soon spot a secret stone room. A prophecy had once foretold of a Marquis who shall one day venture inside, and thus it is named the Future Marquis Abode to Be. You like it? The Future Marquis? Uh, are you sure you don't want to hear the rest? I'll keep this brief. Firstly, the place ahead of you is a secret room whose purpose... <coughs> What's going on? Oh, hear me out, all right? I'm sorry for resorting to extreme measures, but I'm trying to help here. Don't worry, the fencing will disappear as soon as I'm done talking. So are you some sort of fence-spawning yokai? I'll keep this brief. Firstly, the place ahead of you is a secret room whose purpose, per the legends, is to await the arrival of a certain Marquis. For that reason, it's called the Future Marquis Abode to Be. Uh, secondly, when you get inside, don't sit on the chair in the centre, or bad things will happen. There, that's all. Off you go. <clears throat> so many summers, winters, springs and falls, and now, at last, a hero hither strides. Captivated by the epic poetry, and enthralled by the outstanding storytelling, the Outlanders knew what their next objective was. Namely, to remove the clockwork key from the raised platform up ahead. Kebe, I just realized you said we all had to speak like bards, but every time you open up your mouth, I don't hear any rhymes. Yeah, I'm strong as stone. Firm as steel! The Outlander pulls, but it does not yield. This has happened many times before, but this time is different. A thought enters the Outlander's mind. Attack! Attack! The attack now over! Only one final step remains! Now it's... But alas, as was the case for all those who had come before, the key still did not move an inch. Wait, what? They got it out? Yes! Finally! Come on, move your butts! 
and your lights, assuming they're still in working order, it's shoe time! No hard feelings about your lack of poetic contributions? Oh, let it go! Ah! Welcome, esteemed and noble outlander. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We represent the three great clans of this realm, having been selected as its authorized historical supervisors. Our purpose being to await the arrival of one such as yourselves who shall remove the clockwork key. My name is... You're Cape, he's Albizzi, and that's Bobarano, right? You've done so much talking that we can already tell you apart by your voices. Aren't we missing someone, though? The guy who led us here to begin with? Who? <clears throat> and thus was born the long-awaited fellowship, destined to uncover the truth of the past. Allow him. Well, there's no fourth person, so which of you is the ventriloquist? We've never heard that voice before, but he sounds like he'd be good at reading. Whoever it is, I don't know and I don't care. For that key you hold is the pivot. Each clan has its own version of hit. Dragon? Oh, no. <laughs> he means... Uh... Not just exp... What we need... The moment you removed the key... Noble tra... Pussin! Embrace it, my friend. Embrace... I'm not even a... Please allow me to... This place is sacred to my clan. After a bitter battle that dragged on... So they say... Wait a second? Our history, and isn't the true Capet's word? But well, that would have to wait. Apparently, Cape was not alone in his the traveler and yeah. Quiet thing ever. Wow. A true display of heroism and power. It was as if the spirits of my ancestors were fighting for. Your martial prowess and show of courage are a more vivid reenactment of my ancestors' feats that suit the modern. Now, let's get down to business. As we all know, time is but an illusion. Time may flow line by line, page by page, or... And that clockwork key you have in your hand can turn back time and... Well, actually, my view is that the illusion of time is more of... But the mind... I... I'm getting flashbacks to when I was delivered. A teacher once asked Albizzi. The teacher then turned the manuscript that uh, Paimon didn't follow up. Exactly. It is said that in the beginning, so in a few moments, when the great clockwork key turns the. Hold on. Ah, uh, well, the general shapes of the configurations have been passed down over the age. <laughs> to address your other concern, when the house has already been built, do you really think that taking away the construction crew and blue- The Traveler Marquis prepares to insert- Behold, the sacred writings that record the truth of... No, wait. That have shaped the truth of history. Gather round and let us bear witness. Feast your eyes, rejoice, and cheer. For this is the unquestionable truth. 
Look at the signature. I don't believe it. So... Don't lose heart, Albizzi. It does not follow... That might be the most bogus logic I've ever heard. But... And yet, it's... The party just... Isn't a narrator so... Oh, whatever. I'm in a good mood. Let's... Let's do my clan next. I'll lead the way. We'll need the key again, right? Let me see if I can pull it out. Yoink! <laughs> Finds no pedestal. Where's your clan's pedestal? Oh, let me guess, you hid it away in advance to save yourself. You done? Okay. Now. <laughs> Misinformation, half truths. Ah, shut up, Cape. Shut, shut up, up Cape. Cape. I swear, if I wind up. <clears throat> My clan's claim to fame is that. So. Almost. There's one. Jeez. Well, do you. The correction fluid of time is dyed white. The... But worry not, I had a. Question one. Who is it? The great yokai and the trusty travel guide pixie. I... Question two. By which virtue did the ancients defeat the dragon? No, oh, no, 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 don't say that. Even though the right, uh... You do realize we If you say it out loud, you'll only set those three off arguing again. Question two. But... If this is the right answer, I swear I'll... Correct! What? Uh, a barefaced lie. So... Question three. What... <sighs> Please try to avoid the... Question three. Here, here. Who can be sure that the there is no way to know? All correct. You may have the key. Traveler Marquis, you know what must be done. Please insert the great clockwork key. Oh, and uh, this is my family crest. Now, let me see what... What elaborate fiction the Clan of Wisdom was able to conjure up. If anyone's listening, I would like to submit these as my last... <sighs> look! Look! My clan's history is true as well! There's that same unforgeable signature again, right here! What? Oh... Given that my clan's wisdom is such a subject of ridicule in your eyes, I will now appeal to my own personal intelligence, which I believe far surpasses that of my clan at large. It seems likely that the clan- Oberano? Oh, I get what's going on. Once, whichever one I guessed, I was all- But then, I learned later from one of the Shrine Maidens, Miyuki, that all- Oh, don't mind- Actually, that reminds me. We cool. I'll take the clockwork key again then. Yoink! One man's stone is another man's gem.
The cohort of truth seekers followed Albizzi to his clan's sacred site. They arrived to the site of a giant guard towering over them. Up ahead is my clan's gigantified guard. He can be a little pig-headed, and he's incredibly strong. Your weapons won't even scratch him. Wait, but wasn't Cappy's clan the one that's all about strength? So, what do you guys believe in then? Oh, the guard is mine. What's sympathetic about our ancestors? So, they... Uh... The serum isn't what it once was, though. Nowadays, it doesn't make you grow all that much, and it actually makes you lose your empathy. So, I advise we take a detour. Despite Albizzi's words of caution, somebody, no doubt, has other ideas. Surely we could avoid a conflict with the guard. Everyone, I have returned. I come with the lot. Well, we weren't told. You and Albizzi only wanted to strike up a conversation with the guard, but... Everyone, I have returned. I come with the long-awaited Marquis and their followers to search for the lost origins of our clan. Well, we weren't told anything about that this morning. Get up! <sighs> you and Albizzi only wanted to strike up a convers- Everyone, I have returned. I come with the long-awaited Marquis and their followers to search for the lost origins of our clan. Well, we weren't told anything about that this morning. Get out of here. Leave us alone. <sighs> you and Albizzi only wanted to strike up a conversation with the guard. But since greeting you wasn't one of the items included in today's schedule... Why is my own clan treating me like a villain? You've been away too long. We all have. It feels like we've been waiting forever. We should be getting close. Why is this place so full of junk? Are you the kind of people who never throw away the box when you buy something because you're worried you won't be able to return it without the original packaging? Uh, we'll never find the Oracle Pillars in all this mess. Never mind that, we have a more pressing issue. It seems there's a slight problem with my clan's family crest. The Marquis may need to utilize their wisdom to solve the issue. Wisdom too, huh? Well, you guys have a bit of everything, don't you? Except empathy. Over here! I found it! Yes! Keep the noise down! We don't want to alert the guard. I'll, uh... I'll go keep watch. Can't 
Can't you destroy the boxes a little more quietly? This is the last one. The signature. So it's true. Empathy is one of the founding virtues of Constellation Metropole, too. Just as we suspected, all three are the truth. Uh... uh I get you. It's like in... But by the time book number 88 came out, nobody wanted to read it. They all lost interest. A brief moment of joy. Anyone? That's exactly what Paimon was wondering, but Boborano kind of already explained it away earlier. So Paimon was worried she'd look stupid for asking the question. It's not a stupid question at all, my dear little pixie. While I did postulate that different truths may coexist, the problem is all th Suddenly, the sound of a bell. The bell! It rang once! What does that mean again? Ah, yes! Highest level of emergency! Everyone to the main entrance! Stat! Bring all the glue traps and place them outside the gates! The whole city is on the lookout and there's only one way out. It's the path right in front of you. Why'd they ring the bell anyway? Also, why is one ring the highest level of emergency? They're outside! After them! Take it easy. The reason we argued as surely as we will follow the clockwork path. We will never. Is that all there is to it? Is this where the decision made at the first crossroads of death? Huh. Over. Could you be any more? Whatever happens to me too. And me. Let's leave it there for today. Take it easy. What a beautiful day, thought the trap. The voice in her head grew louder. Must go to... Pendulum Lane is just up ahead. Something must have happened here after all. Everyone's crowded. Oh my god, this is terrible. I don't understand. The three great clans of Constellation Metropole have finally made peace with each other. What happened? Oh, how did this happen? Captain, you last words. Ahem. Ugh. You could have. I'm sorry, Boberano. But ah, don't worry, Boberano. I don't consider you a suspect, nor do I have the authority to charge anyone with a crime. So, are you the last people to have had contact with him? My sincere condolences. You were travel companions, right? It's a real tragedy. I'm afraid he'll be out cold for another hour and a half, at least. Huh? Yeah, I know. So... That is good. Ah, uh, wait. But... No, no! They're... Unfortunate. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. 
Then suddenly, the long-lost dragon of old flew across the sky. Where? Where? Uh, I didn't see anything. Wait. Oh, my mistake. We just, if only we could turn time backwards and replay the crime. Isn't that one of those, uh, clockwork socket things right behind you? Ah, so it is. No one... I can't make heads or tails of it. Well, that clears it up. Cape was walking along the street, then he suddenly cut. What? Well, we literally re like how. Con but didn't you say? For all I know, as for why he might. Is. With the Supreme Clan question left unanswered, and attention only there. Uh, do we really think he's capable of that, though? Sounds like a pretty complicated conspiracy for the. Traveler? Also, anything outside of the immediate air. Why don't we. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, we're. Uh, we're gonna head to Cappy's house to check. You're, uh, you're not from these parts, are you? Yep, that's right. Ah, well, I... Uh, doesn't... To keep the titanium and in terms of... I'm not! Uh... Welcome to Pine... Mind you, I don't know what happened today, but somehow a pick... Sound... still... a missing pickaxe. Huh... Is it just me, Traveler, or does it seem kind of susp... Come here. Well, whatever it is you were looking to buy, please do come back tomorrow. It's just, I have to close early today. A bottle of growth serum has gone missing. There's a whole investigation into it, so I gotta close the shop while I do an inventory count. If it turns out I'm wrong... Take it easy. There's a strange potion bottle here. Looks so weird. Let's take it. Hello there. Uh, have you seen my spear by any chance? Someone was shouting about a dragon a minute ago, and I instinctively threw it into the sky. Yeah. There's a spear here! It looks so mysterious. Let's take it! Take it easy. A pickaxe? What is it doing all the way down here? Let's say one of these was the weapon used in the assault. Which one do you think it is? If it was the growth serum, Cape would have been turned into a giant. Also, the bottle probably would have shattered when it hit him. We would have seen the debris on the ground. Let's say one of these was the weapon used in the assault. Which one do you think it is? If so, there's no way his head would still be in such good shape. He'd have a big dent in the back. And if the guard is to be believed, 
He had the spear in his possession right up until that guy shouted about the dragon. Let's say what... If it was the pickaxe, Cappy sure is lucky it's not still lodged in his head. Actually, you're wrong there, Paimon. But let's take this back to the crime scene. Ah, you're back. That was a toilet at Cappy's house. Toilet? What about it? Oh, oh, yeah, um, forget that. What's this about? We thought the way Cape fell looked odd, so we searched the area for suspicious items and found this. It could have been deliberately placed out of range of the crime scene so it wouldn't show up when we replayed it. Oh, uh... Oh, no, you stay right there! Uh... We should be good now! Congratulate, so it... catch me if you can. We have a runner. That's it. Let me at him. The would-be Marquis of Carabas displayed the Necromata in boots, who ran off in pursuit of the poor little minion. Minion's poor little lower back was protesting painfully against the intense physical activity. He decided to take the elevator, giving him a moment to catch his breath. But the minion had no other choice. He resolved to make the jump down. By this point, the Necromata in boots was gasping for air. The minion was huffing and puffing even more loudly. But uh, we'll ignore that. I'm not! Don't underestimate the gold level courier of the Kumania Express! A characteristically catty response from the Necromata. Tell me, what do you hope to gain from bullying me? I get to let off some steam! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> you fell into my trap! In fact, all the glue in this world is created by me, using my narrator powers. I make it and the residents just gather what they need. Rats! Oh, I'm so jealous of you guys right now, you can just jump out of your shoes and keep running, but I... Wait, uh... The unnamed minion made a last-ditch escape attempt. He began... ...his long crawl, long, long climb, climb, sorry, up the wall, the, the tall, the tall wall. He began his long climb up the tall wall. Can you call that a tall wall? In urgent Neko parcel mode. <sighs> I'm beat. I surrender. You've got nowhere left to run! 
All right. Uh, that was fast. Getting caught by you here was a backup plan. I don't know if what I've done will make things better or not. Time to come clean. <sighs> I am the narrator. <laughs> okay. I guess... Anyway, I only did what I... D Why are you suddenly spilling the beans? I poured my heart and soul into all this. I was worried. The truth is... I was one of the first conscious beings ever made. I know they say that fate, the reason why Constella, then her cat trod off, the goddess of fate was torn, so when she saw the cat had died, Who'd have thought? You're not a fiction every day that I experienced. The only reason the three great clap, but as it turned out, they just, I have to motivate them to keep looking, and I have to figure out. Aww. That's my full con- Oh, also, if the three of them, over all the- Oh, my poor child. <laughs> The reason fair fairy tales, but let goddess. The line that separates footnotes from narrative can never be crossed. Never the two shall meet. This is why you have never heard my voice before. But now you wish to break Necromoda. Just. Ah, oh, poor detective. So, we are a part of the real world too. Does he really think we didn't try that? Ah, that was my bad. I thought it was- I, uh... What are you- <sighs> Never mind. I'm partly to blame as well. Uh, you guys are so lazy. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, you said you heard the voice of the goddess of fate at the- There is a world beyond our own- What would you guys say to taking a trip to the outside world sometime? Depends. Do either of you know how to get there? But yes, but maybe the reason we've... If someone ever convinced me that... The <laughs>